PyPack has advanced tools to take your channel information and allow you to create 3D channel designs and sections through your channel in order to compute volume quantities. The end result whoops, will be a channel. In this case we have different reporting zones for the volume quantities. There's a deeper area, our normal center channel, left slope, right slope, and a turning basin. All this is done inside the Advanced Channel Design Program. Inside of Advanced Channel Design Program, we can go ahead and bring in our node information and then create planar faces of, of pairs in order to create the 3D channel. There are tools that will automatically generate side slopes for you. In this case down here, we go from an 8 meter channel to a 10 meter channel back to an 8 meter channel. We have a turning basin at a different side and the side slopes become very complex. All that's handled automatically in advanced channel design. With the zones, we can go ahead and here we've created five different reporting zones. So I have the 13 meter area, the 10 meter channel in red, the left slope in green, the right slope in light blue, and then I have a turning basin right, at a different depth than this 13 meter area. We can then generate our plan lines. So I'm going to go ahead and read a plan line file that I've already created. And this plan line file doesn't have any kind of channel information or, or template information. And I can go ahead and cut sections through it. So I'll save my plan line. And give it a name. Let's just overwrite channel limit. Save that. Now if we take a look at those plan lines, each line as you see as we go down through the section, here's just a partial where we have the left slope and the center channel. If I go a lot further down my channel, down in here now, we're going deeper into the 12 meter or 13 meter turning basin, back up the side. As we step down our additional lines, here we actually go through the 13 meter transition up into our turning basin, and then go up the side slope. So you can see the program automatically figures out these complex sections, and now you're ready to compute volume quantities. If we want to do volumes inside the TIN model, which more and more people are going to, we'll just generate our model, calculate volume, do a tin to channel calculation where I can compute the over depth and the contour over depth. I could also include the fill values. We're going to do it by sections and zones and tell it to calculate. It's actually subdividing the tin model between each pair of plan lines and then allocating the material whether it's in the left slope zone, the center channel, the right slope, or there are other reporting zones. All this information is stored in a text report that can then be analyzed for your final volume quantities. We're almost done. Here we are to the end of our channel. If I export and view the report, now at the very bottom, right, I get my totals. How much material is above design for the 10 meter channel, the center part that's 10 meters? How much is in the 13 meter channel part? How much over depth do we have? And then how much contour over depth do we have? The totals. Uh, only two million yards. Let's get to work.